Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I'd like to go ahead and start a, a new series where I go through uh, the gear I use w when I'm backpacking. A lot of other people do gear review videos on the pros and cons of individual pieces of equipment, but I want to try something different. To me, gear by itself really isn't worth discussing when and you're talking pros and cons. You need to consider each piece of gear as how it helps the overall system that it's involved in. There's a lot of trade-offs that happen um, when selecting gear and using gear out on the trail. So what I'm gonna be doing is discussing the gear in context of the system I use. So each of my following videos that I'll be releasing is about a particular uh, system. So my cooking system, my water system, my uh, shelter system, so you can see all the pieces of gear that go into that system and how they all work together as a whole uh, to achieve what I need to have happen. And you can see some of the uh, design choices and some of the pros and cons on how everything fits together um, when you're looking to build out your particular systems. Now I can't talk about any particular gear system until we, we have discussed the elephant in the room, which is carry weight. So today's topic is all about base weight. So if you've watched any videos or ran into other hikers on the trail, you know a common question that people ask each other is what's your base weight? Now I agree with the thoughts behind figuring out what your base weight is. I mean, at the end of the day, the lighter your pack is, the easier it is to carry, uh, the um, more enjoyable your, your trip will be up to a point, right? You can really start cutting into your gear and have a less than enjoyable trip by trying to get your weight down at all cost. So I don't really look at base weight as a useful number. Well, if you think about it, base weight isn't a magic number. It isn't a single number that defines your, your gear. Every single time you pack your bag, you're probably going to end up w with a different base weight. So say and I have a 12 pound base weight or I have 11 pound base weight or an eight pound base weight um, does not describe how I actually pack to go on a hike. So the number I work on is what my carry weight is. So, so regardless of the fact that my base weight is going to change trip to trip, my actual carry weight should pretty much remain the same. You know, my, my carry weight is how much weight do I actually want to carry for a comfortable and safe trip. And that has nothing to do with the trip itself, and has everything to do with my fitness level, my health and well-being, and you know my, my body shape, everything about me and nothing about the trip. And, and it's pretty consistent, I found, trip to trip, how much weight I wanna carry. Yeah, it may fluctuate a pound or two, but, but it, it, it's consistent. So I consider that the deciding factor, my carry weight and not my base weight. So how is this usable? Well, once I know what my, my carry weight is and I know what kind of hike I'm gonna go on, I need to figure out what is the biggest weight differentiator. And that's the typical uh, what people don't consider base weight. It's my fuel, it's my water, and it's my food. Right, because once I know those numbers, I'm going on a five day hike. Well, I know how much food I need to carry, I know how I, I can look to see how much water I need to safely carry based on where the water sources are and how long I need to carry on, on that longest stretch o over my hike. Um, so I can plan that as my max water number, and that's going to give me. The, the, the largest amount I'm actually going to carry on, on any particular hike. So I take my carry weight, I minus my fuel, my food, I minus my water weight, and if, if I'm gonna do hot cooking, I'll, I'll minus my fuel weight in, off, okay? So what remains is my goal base weight. Not my base weight, my goal base weight. Everything else that I'm gonna carry on a hike is what, is what remains. So if, I, if I'm doing a short trip um, with easy access to water, then, you know, hypothetically say my carry weight is 30 pounds, you know, that I, I, I wanna go hiking on is 30 pounds. And I'm gonna do a three day trip. 
So two pounds of food per day over three days is six pounds of food. I have easy access to water. So the most I'm probably ever gonna need to carry at any one time uh, on the course of the trip is two liters of water. So figure two pounds per liter. So that's in another four pounds. So that's 10 pounds, right? Um, so 30 pounds minus 10 pounds. I actually have a, a goal base weight of 20 pounds. So I plan my trip and I plan my gear then based off that 20 pounds. I look at the equipment that I can fit within that 20 pounds. So my all my gear weight from you know my big three, you know, shelter, sleep system. I, I look at my, my cooking system, my water system, and figure out what kind of gear do am I going to be bringing based on the time time of year. So I'm, I'm, am I bringing warm weather clo clothing, or do I need to pack extra cold weather clothing? Do I need to um, pack um, extra insulation for my sleep system because it's going to be cold, or can I get by with something pretty minimal because it's going to be a, a, a warm weather trip? That's going to come in either below, at, or above my goal base weight. And then I have choices. Um, let's go with the best scenario. I'm below my goal base weight. I, I pack all that in and it's a warm weather trip and I can get my you know, base weight at, oh, say 13, 14 pounds. Um, my goal was 20, so I have six pounds spare to play with. So I can either travel really light, 24 pound um, trip, or I have those six pounds to play with that I can start adding some luxury items in. Maybe I'm gonna carry a coffee mug. Maybe I'm gonna bring a chair. You know, I have six pounds to play with and I can start putting luxury items into my trip uh, to make it more enjoyable. I'm still at the carry weight that I, that I can comfortably go hike in all day long. Um, but I know I have six pounds to put luxury items in. I know that. Um, and so now base weight then is, is that trip's base weight. And, and I can plan based on that. Now, you know, the, the simplest thing is I have a goal base weight of 20 pounds. I pack my bags and it comes in at 20 pounds. Great. Um, I, I'm ready to go. I've got a 30 pound pack. So I can go out hiking all day long and I'm going to enjoy this trip. At least I'm going to do it safely. I may have cut by, cut out some of the luxury items, um, but I can still ha have a, a safe and enjoyable trip. Well, what if after I went ahead and I packed my, my um, bag, aiming for that goal base weight of 20 pounds, and I came in higher, right? So 10 pounds of, of food and water, um, and, and my, my bag comes in over 20 pounds. Well, what do I do? Well, I have choices, right? I can either go ahead and buy some lighter gear to get my base weight down to 20 pounds, because again, now that's something I, I go. I know I don't want to carry over 30. You know, if I pack this bag, I'm gonna be over 30. How much do I need to drop in weight uh, to get it down to 30? Well, the only choice right now, because I've already cut all the luxury out, is to go with lighter equipment. Well, what can I change up? Uh, to uh, get, you know, lighter equipment. The only other choice is if I can't spend that kind of money is I need to replan my trip. Maybe I uh, can go and, and pre-cache some water or, or, or pre-cache some food somewhere along the trip so I don't have to carry it all with me and I can get my base weight down. Because again, what is important to me is carry weight. I want to keep my carry weight at my target carry weight and I, I can make decisions around that. So this trip, my base weight's 14 pounds. Next trip, my, my, my base weight's eight pounds. Uh, you know, the trip after that is only six pounds because I have to carry a lot. Um, it gives me a number that I target to, to build out so I can have a comfortable and safe trip. So that's my opinion on base weight versus carry weight. The only really reason it's important is my gear systems are all built around the concept of carry weight. As I go through in, in future videos about each of my gear systems, I'm going to clearly separate out um, what is a necessary item versus the luxury items. And so you can see, 
you know, what weight range each of my um, gear systems is built on and how I can swap in and out pieces of gear to either raise or lower um, my base weight for that particular trip, adding, removing luxury items or swapping in and out um, lighter or heavier gear, depending on durability and, and, and temperature and all that. Um, so we'll see that, you know, in examples as I go through each of my gear systems in, in later videos. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, and like always, please like and subscribe. New videos will be coming out every Sunday. The next series of videos will be going over my major gear systems before we start going back to some uh, trail videos. Thank you. Bye.